It's here to confuse us. <laughs> I'm getting confused by Lindsay. Okay, <laughs> this is a pretty uh, just fun one, but you know the uh, Mercator projection, which is how you saw maps when you were in school, although they've gone away from them to some degree. Let's scroll down a little bit, Isaac, if you could. Um, it, I'm sure you all know that it, it is not right about the sizes, relative sizes, of different countries. Did you guys know that? No. Yes. Okay. So it's like hugely off as you get farther and farther away from the equator. And so what you're seeing here is the projection that you normally see and then the actual relative size of countries. And one of the most famous ones is Greenland compared to Australia. It projects it as being three times as big when in reality Australia is three times as big. Um, as Greenland. The reason for this, of course, is that the Earth is round and we're trying to map it on a flat surface. This projection became popular in the 1500s as a way to navigate because what it does, although it's distorted, is allows you to plot straight lines that will land you in the right spot. But it's worth noting how far off base the size how come of these countries ones are. Don't change? Well, they're not quite as far to the poles uh, yeah. as these are. That's the reason it's not as big. But they do change if you look closely okay. down there into Chile and Argentina. Me too. Yeah. Wow, that was a good brain drop. Hashtag, hashtag maps, hashtag projection mapping. Hashtag mind blown. The Earth is round. Yeah. Huh. That's new. 